Yeah, it's me. I'm back. I'm sorry that I've gone on MIA for so long and I always say this in all of my videos but I'm really really truly sorry. So yeah, today I'm here with a makeup routine video. So if you would like to see how I achieve this uh, very simple makeup look that like has the glass skin effect because of the amount of highlighter I put, just keep on watching and I'll see you guys soon. Okay, so this is how my skin looks bare face. As you can see, uh, I don't know why th my skin has been like breaking out recently. There's like red patches and I've just been trying to use um, as little skincare products as I can because my skin can get really sensitive. So, uh, my contact lenses are from this like Korean Insta shop called ShopX365. And... um. They sponsored me like six pairs of uh, Korean lens that I picked out myself and I really like it because it looks uh, really natural compared to like luxury lens and like Bangkok lens. Okay, these are how like the contact lenses look up close as you can see and yeah, I really like it because it's really comfortable. The diameter is really small compared to other lenses I used to wear. I used to wear like Dazomi lens but I heard of a lot of horror stories that people actually went blind. So, um, yeah, I've been finding these Korean lenses for like super long, like a month plus. After watching uh, Nicole Changmin's video, she said that she bought her lenses from Korea. So, I actually did like a Google search like uh, Korean lenses Singapore and then I found Shop X365 and I wanted to purchase the lenses but she very kindly offered to like sponsor me and she sponsored me like six pairs at one go so I'm really happy about that and so far so good and uh, I have a promo code so I'll like put it here so yeah but this video is not sponsored she didn't pay me to like talk about it she was really nice actually she told me like if I didn't like it I don't have to post about her shop so thank god that I like it that's why I would just like to share with you guys if you guys are looking for um, Korean lenses so next I'm gonna put my double eyelid sticker this is my lifesaver I used to wear um, oops I used to wear a double eyelid sticker from Taobao it's really cheap 1000 pieces for like $4 plus shipping this is a pack of uh, two sheets like this which is I think 36 pairs or 36 pieces uh, I, I'm not sure I will put it here but it's 450 and it can only last me like two weeks plus per, per pack so that's like nine dollars per month so usually I'll just like I already know where my eyelid crease is so usually I'll just put it there and then I'll use a, a prong and just push it in. The best thing about this eyelid sticker is that it's really long lasting even if I sweat, even if I bathe in this, it still stays. But the bad thing is that it's really hard to remove because uh, the glue is really sticky but uh, I've just gotten used to it. At the end of the day, when I just gently peel it off, peel it, off it just comes off easily. Uh, but I really like it. I think it's worth every single cent. And look at how natural it looks. Compared to like my normal uh, non-obvious eyelid crease. And for those of you who have been asking me, why don't you just get double eyelid surgery instead of pasting this stupid sticker every single day? By the way, I paste this sticker every single day without fail. Even if I have no makeup on, I will still paste it on. Because I'm too insecure to leave my house without the sticker. And then I just position it properly and then just peel the outer layer. Okay, so the reason why I have I've yet to like go and get like double eyelid surgery is because my mom and my boyfriend is like very against it. They think that I look fine the way I am, so they think that I shouldn't go and get plastic surgery. 
but I will go. I think I will go and get it like when I'm a, a little bit older. When I have more balls because I'm really scared of pain. So just do this. I have no idea how long am I gonna like put this sticker on. Maybe like a few years more. I've been putting it for the past two years. But it was the best discovery I've ever made. So this is how my eyelids look like. I really love it. If I were to get a double eyelid surgery, this is how I would like ask the surgeon to like sew or cut it. It's really nice. I like it. It's worth every penny. Okay, next I'm gonna put like my moisturizer. This is from Jensen Cosmetics. Uh, I use this because my facial therapist recommended it to me. I've been using it for like what, the past 6 months? And I just take like a small spatula f that I got from Sephora. Because I feel really gross when I dip my finger into the moisturizer. So I have like this amount left. It's really good. I love it. But it's like $70 for that tub. But I mean, it can last me for so long. It's been 6 months, so it's around like $8 per month. Mm. So I just um, rub it into my skin. I know I look I, like I'm really rough with my skin, but um, I'm just like used to it. I'm not used to being like all gentle and like like tapping my skin I usually just rub it in because I can't be bothered if I have wrinkles next time then I'll just get Botox lah I mean I'm only saying that now because I don't have wrinkles but I probably regret it if I'm watching this video when I'm like 50 years old so yeah moisturizer on next I don't use foundation so I actually use like a uh, tinted sunblock as I mentioned like earlier just now, let me just adjust my camera. As I mentioned earlier just now, I have like really sensitive skin. So, I, I'm using like a tinted sunblock from my doctor. I don't know, I'm like so weird. I have like other sun sunscreens, like tinted sunscreens and like a CC cream from Kose. But I still like this the most. At first when I got it, I didn't really like it because it's just really hard to get used to. But I just squeeze like a tiny whiny bit. And then I spread it like on my six fingers. I know I'm really weird. And then I do this. And then I just gently like try to blend the product in. At first when I got it right, I really didn't know how to use it. Because uh, it's really, the consistency is like really thick. So you really have to get used to it. But once you blend it out, I think... It, it looks like skin so that's the thing that I really like about this and I don't use foundations because I don't like the look of your skin not looking like skin I like it when my imperfections show through my skin looks like pretty dewy but they're just like my eye bags to cover so next I'll use a concealer which I've been using this for like a really long time this is the, the same the Siam Cover, per Cover Perfection Tip Concealer High coverage for my Dark circles And since I'll be like going out for a long day today I'll just apply more concealer And my skin is breaking out That's why I need more concealer Otherwise normally I will only need like 3 dots under my Dark circles And I threw away my beauty blender After like 6 months and I'm really sad because I'm so not used to blending concealer with my fingers. Look, I don't even know what the hell am I doing. So, I'll just try to blend this out. I think the reason why my skin broke out and it's not healing because uh, I kept using like the dirty beauty blender. I mean, dude, one beauty blender is like $32. Of course, I have to use it like as long as possible. So, it, it grew like mold on the beauty blender but I still used it anyway and then in the end my skin broke out badly so please do not use like beauty blender which has mold on it so after blending out my concealer I look so much more like a human now and I'm so glad that this concealer is like not the cakey kind it doesn't look like I have concealer but then it looks like I have concealer if it makes any sense so next I'm gonna use my RCMA no color powder 
I got this from like Shopee or something. Yeah, so I've been using this for like the longest time ever. This totally replaced my Innisfree No Sebum Powder because this is like cheaper and it never finishes. I've been using it for like what one year plus or like almost two years and it's still here. And I, I'm just wondering if it has expired, but I don't really care until my face breakouts, then we will talk about it because why waste money to buy a new one? So I'm just gonna use my uh, Etude House brush, big fluffy brush, and I'm gonna set everything. My skin feels really nice and smooth, and I'm gonna apply bronzer. I'm using this Chica Tone palette, and I'm gonna tell you guys something. This Dallas color is like going moldy. I'm kind of like worried. I'm not sure why my things are going moldy. But I stored it properly but it's like going moldy. That day it grew like a lot more on it. And then I just used like wet tissue to clean it away. But the more grew back. So but never mind because I don't use that colour. I, I usually only use hula. And I feel kind of dumb. Because ever since I got this palette. I only use like hula. And I only use like the other colours like what, less than like 5 times. So I usually just like put it here. Just use a light hand and then build the colour because otherwise you will look like so next i'm using my elf blush brush i love this it's cheap and it's good and using like my nas uh favorite blusher it's called um deep throat it's the best i love it and i'm just gonna apply it like that i like my blusher to look really pink because otherwise, it will just fade out throughout the day. So, might as well just pack on more. Because I like to look as rosy as possible. Oh, so, now that I'm done, I'm gonna contour my nose. I'm using this heavy rotation powder. I've been using it for the longest time ever. I think like two years already. And I've already like hit pen on the two lightest color. Because I use the two lightest color like that of some excess and then I use it to contour my nose like that it's okay if it, it looks really brown because I'm gonna blend it anyway and then just do this I don't know this is what I always do I don't know I think it's wrong but doesn't matter and then I'll also use like the lighter color like the lightest color and a little bit of the second lightest color to brush over my fake eyebrows because I think my eyebrow embroidery is a little bit too dark so I usually just brush it over doesn't make much of a difference but I just do it anyway next highlight my favorite part I'm using this Becca um, freaking expensive highlighter champagne pop for a second i forgot the name so expensive 58 dollars for a freaking highlight but i mean like i've been using it for like one year plus and it's still there's still so much left so i will use my real techniques fan brush which is really good and i'll just take a little bit of the highlight tap off the excess and then highlight my cheekbones look damn girl you're shiny Boo, you are matte and boring. I really like dewy skin. And I don't have like naturally dewy skin, like the glass skin. So I have to fix it. Like put some on my nose, some on my cupid's bow, some on my chin, some on my forehead. So that I look like I have like real dewy skin. I really like it. I just, you know. So next, I'm gonna use this essence brush. As I was saying, this Kat Von D eyeliner is like really good. Uh, it's thirty dollars from Sephora, but uh, it's expensive. But I've tried many other eyeliners from like uh Heroine Make. Uh, I can't remember the other brand, but this is still the best because it's really pigmented and it stays for the longest time ever. So usually I'll just draw like the droopy eyes effect, like just the ends. 
Oh no. I made it look so ugly. And usually, I will just, I mean this is just a life hack. I'll take tissue paper, put it on my nails, put some saliva, and then clean it. Because who has time to like take Q-tip, take makeup remover, and then like wipe it. Such a waste of time, so just do that. And then just draw like the ends. You don't have to draw the full thing. Because this is a $31 eyeliner, you shouldn't be wasting it. So just do this and then I mean it already looks like it already looks like I have eyeliner on. So okay. Anyway, my dog is here. She's really cute. I like her. And then do the other eye, which I always struggle with. Cookie, stop shaking the bed. Before I like I murder you or something. I can I can So after you're done with eyeliner, by the way, I was just kidding about murdering my dog. I love my dog more than like anything, like anything and anyone else in the world. So please don't hate me when I just joke about killing my dog. So anyway, I'm just gonna take my expensive eyelash curler from Shu Urimura. I'm gonna curl like my Asian lashes. Anyway, then I'm gonna take my favorite mascara, ZA Curl Mascara. I love this. I think it has been so long since I used this. Ever since I got eyelash extensions, I didn't even use this mascara. But now I'm thinking I'm gonna give my lashes a break from like lash extensions. Okay, I'm gonna go nearer so that you guys can see. And then just wiggle your way up. Ah ah ah, pin pin pin. Okay, next is lipstick. I'm gonna be using this Etude House Dear Darling Lip Tint. I like this because it's really natural. It makes me look like I have like, naturally pink lips. I was thinking of getting like lip embroidery. But my boyfriend and mom are like, no, you already look like fake enough. But I think one day I'll just get it done without them knowing. Okay, I think I put a bit too much, but it's fine. Okay, so this concludes the end of my video. Thank you for watching like till the end. Like, I mean congrats, you made it through the end. You actually survived watching me like ramble. So yeah. Mm, uh, okay, so yeah. Uh, if you have any like video suggestions, you can actually like list it down below. And I've actually been planning to do a question and answer because I realized I haven't done that in my channel yet. So if you have any questions, uh, you can list it on my Ask FM, and I recently just like reactivated that account. So, uh, just leave your questions there, and I will do like FAQ video. Uh, yeah. So this concludes the end of my everyday, no, not everyday, uh, makeup routine. So, yeah. I hope you guys like it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.